Here's a problem I'm going to show you how to solve in MATLAB. We have a function of a given form here, and we're told that it passes through a set of points, and we're then asked to solve for the coefficients a, b, and c. We can actually treat this like a linear system of equations because we have specific values of x and specific values of f of x. So if we treat this like a linear system of equations, then specific values of x give us coefficients, and the unknowns are a, b, and c. So for example, the first data point gives us this. So I have a different power of negative 1, and we have a times negative 1 squared, b times negative 1 to the first, and c times negative 1 to the zeroth, right? Because you can see here, c is multiplied by an invisible 1, which is negative 1 to the zeroth. And then we'll equate this to 2, because that's what this is saying. So this is f of x is equal to 2. Um, I'll actually put here a right arrow just to make things a little clearer. Okay, then we could repeat this for uh, x equals 0. And then once more for x equals 1. And then we can put this in matrix form. And if we solve this equation, then we can proceed and solve for a, b, and c. So let's do that in MATLAB. I'll just make a constant vector. We'll just run it to verify. Here's our constant vector. And then our A matrix. Well, our first x value is negative 1, and so I can raise it to the powers 2, 1, 0 as follows. Dot power, and then a vector starting at 2, counting down by 1s, and then ending at 0. Watch what happens if I run this. Notice that's just like this line here. Negative 1 squared is just 1, and then negative 1 and 1. So there's that. And then we do the same thing for the next specific value of x equals 0. So next line will be 0 raised to the various powers. And I should probably put in a dot 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 so that MATLAB knows I'm continuing the command to the next line. Same thing here. This time it's 1. Okay, so there's our A matrix. Let's just try that. And then our unknown, let's call it V, I suppose. And I can do A left divide B, which also could be like that. But if we run this, then we get, ah, the unknowns are 1, 2, 3, and that's ABC, and that's exactly how I designed the problem. Now, we could visualize it just to check, and we'll say we'll let x go from negative 1 to uh, 1, so here's our f of x, notice it's a times x squared b times x and c times x to the 0 and then we'll plot it. Okay, and then we'll turn the grid on and just make it a little nicer. And you can see at negative one, f of x is two, at zero, f of x is three, at one, f of x is six. That's exactly what we wanted.
that satisfies the initial problem statement. So that the data, the function passes through those points.